Am I mad? The gold we brought from the island was real enough. Perhaps the sea gods are real also. A sailor to far ports sees many strange things and learns to keep an open mind. After much effort and recollection, I remembered the chance Wallachia taught me. Tonight I shall roll out to row out to Devil's Reef and try them, along with the discs. Perhaps the sea gods will save us, or if not, I shall acknowledge my folly and retire to the asylum. Later that night, the sea gods... Oh, later that night, the sea gods are real. I have seen them and spoken with them. I carry some of their gold, a token of more to come, I am assured. But the price... Yet can any price be too high when one's home is at stake? Innsmouth shall rise again. July 23rd, 1846. This is a day of crisis for Innsmouth. I and those loyal to me have been seized and thrown in jail by our pious neighbors. Ready enough to enjoy the prosperity, I have returned to the town. They scruple at the means I use and the power I wield. They must be taught a lesson. They have no idea of the powers they seek to defy. The terrible bargain I made was irre irrevocable, and by locking me up they bring great peril to the town. The very town that they would save from my influence. But it is too late for salvation. As surely as I know the morning tide will rise, I know that those from the reef will come to Innsmouth. They will come in search of those things I have been prevented from giving them, and they will come to punish those who have prevented me. Little do the righteous dream of the horror that will visit Innsmouth this night. There will be great destruction. 1846 will be recorded in the town's annals as a year of unparalleled calamity. I shall make certain that 1846 also marks the beginning of a new age. An age in which no threat to our pact is tolerated. From this year on, I shall play the tyrant. My descendants shall do so after me. But we do so to avert a greater evil. Oh, shit. Yeah, Obed Marsh is pretty ago, crazy. An old <laughs> ship's log marked with the name Obed Marsh. Yeah, gotcha. All the desk Quickly, drawers are locked. We have to get away from the jail. Messing with the alarm would be too risky. That's it? That's all you get? Oh, okay. Yeah, I've heard of them. All right, uh, combination. There's a guy right out there. Combination. Looking. What for are we still doing here? Shut up! You're my prisoner now. All right. So you're gonna do what I tell you, and that's to shut up right now. Henry. Henry, they called me. I don't have a code for this. Not him. No. I don't. Oh, I don't reload. I, I forgot about the always I, I, reload. But the whole shit, but the yeah, get down, fatty. <sighs> that was too close. We've got oh, he disappeared. Oh God, magic. Come here, traitor. Run, quick. Dude, I ain't outsider. running from nothing. <sighs> Real OG. Close. We've got to be more careful. We don't need to be careful. I got guns, man. I got guns. Although, oh god, I only got six shotguns. All right, we need to use more of this. Let's bring this out. All right, I don't, I don't know the code for that. I really don't. I'm not sure where you would find that. I, mean, I tried killing this guy. I don't think it would anything. be the sharpest plan to let him out. This pisses me off. I wanted to kill him. Eh, nah, taking the doll would be just too weird. Why are you going up there? <laughs> well, at least he we need to get outside. I hear them. <laughs> so very tasty. I doubt the code combination will be in the bathroom. It won't open. Well, kick it open, Jack. Cut. Uh, Jack. What are we still doing here? Thought I told you. There's nothing of interest in the wardrobe. The fire is barely enough to keep out the freezing cold winds. I don't know. There's probably some really damn good stuff in there. It upsets me. It really does. I 
mean, Quickly. I guess I can try, but yeah, maybe later. Jail. Oh, he just says maybe later, so it doesn't matter. All right. Reload one more time for, for the hell of it. Locked tight. I can't get inside. Oh, shit. What the hell was that? There's something down there. Come on, Jack. We need to get the off the streets. The grate's too heavy to lift with my bare hands. That's right. I got a crow. I got a crowbar. No, don't swing the crowbar. Use the crowbar. Why am I doing this? Nice work, Jack. <laughs> Seems really dumb. <laughs> There's got to be a better way. <laughs> nope. We're going down here. Come on, Brian. The Dude. streets have no cover, Jack. We'll get caught. Dude, make Brian go first. He's the Benny in this situation. I'm the hero. You send him first. What do I care if he survives? I really don't understand this. There's something wrong down here. Something very wrong. <sighs> this place has given me the creeps. Yeah, but we got a gun now, so don't worry. I, I just, I don't get it. Like, if this were, like, the RPG, you know, if this were an RPG pen and paper of this... This kid would be so... Whoa, don't scare me like that. Good Christ. <laughs> I forgot there's actually somebody with me as I'm talking about him. Oh, my God. I should shoot you in the mouth for that. I'm very jumpy. Very jumpy right now. Pretty much anything... Anything would scare the shit out of me, so... Bravo, Jack. Congratulations on your new promotion to Innsmouth's enemy number one. Shut your trap, Maggie. You're not a factory inspector. Who do you work for? Okay, detective. I'll come clean. I'm an undercover agent for the United States Treasury Department. Bullshit. We've been working closely with the FBI on a secret investigation of Innsmouth. I'm the inside man. Really? What have you been able to find out? The Innsmouth look, Jack. It's at the heart of the problems in this town. More than half the population must be infected by now. The spreading of that contagion, or whatever the hell you want to call it, is the key. I just know it. This is all very interesting, fellas, but we gotta get out of Innsmouth with Ruth. She's waiting for us at some old fishing cannery, just past the station to Rowley. Listen, Jack. There are some agents watching the road not far past that spot. If you can make it there, you'll be safely picked up. I need you to do something for me. You can do it while I get this thing started. When they arrested me, they took a brooch I was carrying. It belonged to Ruth. It carries her picture inside. I won't leave it behind. Are you crazy? We don't have time for this. They'll be holding it in the jail office safe. I don't know the combination. I overheard Ropes talking to one of the other guards. He said something about an important date. And someone called Captain Obed Marsh. If you want to get in through the back door, just knock, and I'll open it for you. Oh my god, a brooch. I will literally shoot you in the brain pan. It won't open. And this guy, working for the Treasury Department? Bullshit. Why would, the, why would they send... They're working with the FBI. So, they send the Treasury Department guy to scope out the town by himself. Why would you not spend a train, send a trained FBI agent? Like, why would you not send, like, a Jack Bauer kind of guy? I, I don't get this. You're just filled with lies and shit. I don't like either of these people. The door's bolted shut. Wait, hold on. Close, close it. Close it! Oh, you son of a... It's blocked. Right. I can't go yeah, that way. Check. You gotta check. There could be ammo. I'll save again. Remember in the early days of this game when we were just kind of wandering around and finding stuff out? Those are so much better. But I do have guns now, so that's cool. Stop where you are, stranger! Dude, is that... Is that a bum? Come here! Dude, are you a bum that's gonna knife me? You're a dumb I'm shit. Why would you? I have a gun. 
Oh man, this is this is good. Back here would be a great hiding spot. Oh, shut up, Jack. You got a gun now. Quit being a little bitch. All right, so clearly 1846. And as always, we have to go to the left first. No, no. One, eight, four, six. Yeah, pretty simple. Oh, Jack, don't do that. This must be Ruth's brooch. All right, um, let Come me here, just outsider. say this. Hold on, let me shoot this guy in the mouth. Take him down! <laughs> Dude, you want some of this shit too? Whoa! <laughs> you didn't even notice, you dumb shit! <laughs> Whoa! See how hard is it to shoot people? Oh my gosh. Uh, too much fun, man. Too much fun. All right. Uh, let me just say this: If Jack ends up, if it if it ends up being revealed. The Jack in any way has the Innsmouth look. I I will just stop playing. I will stop this LP. Brian, it's me. Open up. I I will not finish the game. I'm still not done with the car yet, Jack. Dude, I got your shitty ass brooch. Your girlfriend's probably dead anyways. I bet thirty dollars her his girlfriend's dead. Here it is. Thanks, Jack. Ruth would have been heartbroken if I'd lost it. I'll be done in just a second. Hold on. I'm finished. Get in the back. I know the way. Oh, we're going on a car chase with me in the back and Brian freaking Burnham driving. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. I'm saving before we do this shit.